Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. So at home. Yeah. Because because some of y'all, some of y'all, I, I kick Rick ass, kick Rick Ross ass, right? So I want to thank you again for making me feel so at home. Viv, right here. Now, one more, one more, one more. Wow, wow, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. It's going down, man. Boss Talk 101, we back at you again. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. There's a lot going on with uh, when it comes down to sharing our videos, sharing our information. A lot of times, it, if you don't share it, a lot of times, a lot of times, it's stopped from being shared. We know already how the YouTube thing go, but all the people that rock with Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man, just give it a share, give it a like, give it a comment. Comments are important too. Anything that engages the channel is is dope, man. But I appreciate everybody that rock with Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Um, I was just basically uh, on the internet and. Ran across 50 Cent, and he's he's doing his thing, man. He all the way in Toronto, man. He's made his trip to Canada, and you can't really uh, fault him for that. He got a lot of fans all over the place, man. I'm one of them, man. I rock with 50, and just all the stuff that he's doing also down in some of the local areas where I'm so familiar with. Also, just a lot of the stuff that he does, period, when it comes down to all the filmmaking and all the stuff that he, you know, dedicate his time to doing, he's always working. And I can respect the work ethic. That guy got a hell of a work ethic. You can't deny it. Um, you know, he's all the way in Canada, man, having a great time. You see him as he approaches the crowd and the crowd goes through the crowd. The crowd love him. He's doing his thing, man. Whatever country he hit, they love him. So he gets over there. Once he gets over there, he's he reflects back to when, of course, his arch rival, Rick Ross. Rick Ross had been over there. And as you remember the altercation that Rick had, Rick had an altercation where you know, a whole group of men that got into it and, you know, uh, they were playing that They Not Like Us song. So, uh, of course, you know, my boy 50, he had to go over there and he had to go over there and check it out. You know, just basically he had some stuff booked over there, went over there and did a show, had a great time. Looked like they had a hell of a lot of fun. You can look at the crowd. The crowd is going crazy. Everything's just popping. And I, I respect it, man. Like I said, these guys work their butts off. And, you know, I, I just, like I said, I sit back and watch the back and forths. Like, you know, a lot of times in this internet, it's a different world, but a lot of these guys have figured it out. So, of course, they're going to say something when their arch rivals or somebody's having different, diff, different difficulties that go for all of us, man. If you got a presence online, somebody's looking out and trying to figure out ways of, man, I don't like him or I like him or, you know. So it's, it's just crazy how this whole thing is developing um, when you look at it, man. I mean, I rock with uh, Rick Ross too. Some of that, uh, and that music he got, it ain't no game. Like he got some hell of a music too. Um, but when it come down to just, you know, getting uh, trolled, they both two of the coldest dudes to do it. They some cold trolling dudes, man. And I think, like I said, a lot of times people don't understand, but this has become a part of the business. This has become a part of the branding. We're not in 1995. We're not in 2005. We're not in uh, 2015. We're in 2024, guys, and these guys are full-fledged. When somebody say something on the Internet or when somebody go through something on the Internet, best believe people are going to speak out. People are going to pretty much get all involved because there's a lot of times they're speaking out because you spoke out on them. Most of the time it was a back and forth somewhere within that whole situation. So as I look at 50 and what's going on with 50, when I check this video out, he says something to Rick Ross. He talks about Rick. He said, Rick, man, hey, man, you you know, he, he tell the crowd, man, he love it over here because last week when y'all, hey, last week, when, when uh, or last weeks ago, when Rick Ross and y'all kicked him and he kicked his leg up like bow, like bow, like yeah, kicked him, like yeah, 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 like y'all kicked his whatever. Because at the end of the day, he's talking about the fact that he's over in Canada now, 
and Toronto is showing him love. He's having a great time, as you see. You see the pictures, you see him and Drake hanging out. I mean, this is a great time. Look like these guys scheduled to be together. They're drinking champagne, out of champagne glasses. They're kicking it, having a great time, smiles. You got everybody smiling, you know, watches blinging, necklaces popping, everybody kicking it, man, like I said. And I don't think Rick, Rick Ross didn't get this kind of treatment over there. You know, it was like almost like, you know, you see what happened. He gets into it with these guys. He gets frustrated and start popping and bobbing and bobbing. Next thing you know, these boys, you know what I mean, are staggling out of there because somebody then dropped them. You know, so, uh, yeah, uh, 50 is showing the fact that, hey, man, it's a victory for me. It's a big W. I, I, get, I get the W because I went over to Toronto. I didn't, I, I didn't get no bruises and scars on me, and they showed me love. They showed me a lot of love. As you can see the crowd as he go through it, they laughing, smiles, everybody kicking it. He didn't just do it over there, but he showed the after party where him and Drake and them, they kicking it together, you know. At some location, I don't know where they was at, but it looks like they having a great time. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy. So if you're not happy and you're not smiling, evidently you're not with them when they in Toronto and Canada because when I seen Rick, he wasn't smiling like this. But Rick has had his runs and Rick does his thing when you see him, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Rose is his, is, 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 is his passion. I mean, they talked about wings on that plane, but we don't know. Like I said, I wasn't there, but you, as, as you can clearly see in the video, he had some times where it was tough, man, trying to get through. So, you know, all I'm saying is, man, it's, it's a crazy world we live in, man, when you start looking at how this whole thing is unfolding and developing when it comes down to the internet and the movement of the internet. And the way these people, you know, the wins and the losses and the way that who hanging with who, you know, how big was it to see, you know, Dre and all these guys, uh, you know, I, I like 50 stance on it because I don't think he's he's chose a side by hanging out with Drake. But what is that? You know, he's hanging out with Drake. They're having a, a, a drink together. They was already partners. But with this whole Kendrick Lamar thing, is Drake going to be OK? Drake is uh, house got flooded. He's still out here doing his thing. Uh, the man killing the game. I, like I said, I don't think he, I don't think he hiccups and stops from this, man. I think he keeps going. I think that's just a part of the game. You know, you take some L's, but you seen Meek Mills when he did, you know, when he took the L against Drake. You seen a lot of people when they took the L's against uh, Drake. Whether it was Pusha T or whoever, which Pusha T was kind of weird. I don't know if that was L, but it was during show a good battle, man. But at any rate, man. Um, I'm just, what do you think about 50 going to Toronto? Get in the comments, let me know. Him hanging with Drake. What do you guys think about it? Him dissing uh, Rick Ross again. You know, he dissed him again. He trolls him again. What do you think about it, guys? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. It's going down, man. Y'all going to continue to see these Boss Talk 101 reviews. Holler at your boy, Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.